Welcome guys, AMD has invited me to build a brand new gaming PC using the world's fastest gaming CPU, the AMD Ryzen 7 7800X3D. And as PUBG is known to be a very CPU hungry game, I feel like you guys might find this interesting. And as you can see, and also probably hear on the bit echoey acoustics in this room, I'm not in my gaming room making this video, I'm in my living room. So it's gonna be a little bit different today, but when we're done building this PC, I'm gonna bring it right back to the gaming room and we'll test it in PUBG. Our motherboard is a nice mid-end motherboard that supports the AM5 socket of our Ryzen 7 CPU. The RAM will be these fast low latency DDR5 RAM from G-Skill that supports the AMD Expo technology, which is one touch memory overclocking supported by the Ryzen 7000 series. The graphics card is also supplied by AMD, the Radeon RX 7900 XT, which delivers close to the same performance as the Nvidia 4080, however at a more competitive price point. And although you can run your games at 4K resolution, which is partly thanks to the AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution technology, also known as FSR, the maximum resolution we'll be running at will be 1440p. To cool the PC, I went for a deep cool liquid cooling system, and for our storage, a two terabyte NVMe solid state drive. To power it all, I'm using a 1000 watt power supply, which might be slightly overkill, but better safe than sorry. And the star of the build is no doubt the AMD Ryzen 7 7800X3D, which is currently the fastest gaming CPU on the market. It's an 8-core 16-thread processor with a base clock speed of 4.2 GHz and a max boost clock of 5 GHz. It features AMD's innovative 3D vCache technology. CPU cache memory is a form of memory that sits between the RAM and the CPU, making it much faster than your standard DDR5 RAM, which in this case is gonna be what I put in this build. It stores frequently accessed information to achieve faster response times. And the problem with this memory is that it very often has a very small capacity due to the limited space on the chip. But AMD has with their 3D vCast technology been able to stack this CPU memory vertically, which allow them to have a lot more of this cache memory available on the chip, which means that these CPUs will have more of this fast memory, basically giving them a lot better performance. So I'm putting an AMD Ryzen CPU in this build right now, and I've gotta be careful not to drop this thing. But AMD can be found in many different gaming devices across the world right now. You can find AMD components inside the new Xbox, inside the PlayStation 5, inside the Steam Deck, and so on. AMD is actually kinda of right when they say they power gaming. The Ryzen 7 7800X3D is a CPU that uses the AM5 socket. And the reason that's important is not just because the AM5 socket supports a lot of good stuff, but it's also because AMD has committed to keep using the AM5 socket for many years to come. And I'm sure if you're like me, every time we have to upgrade our CPU, we also have to buy a new motherboard. With the AM5 socket, you should be able to keep upgrading your CPU without having to upgrade your motherboard every single time.
All right, so uh, might have run into a bit of a problem. There's actually not room for the radiator, uh, for the liquid cooling system inside the PC. So I had to be a little bit creative. It means that it's not fitted exactly perfectly flush with the top of the casing, but I think this will be okay. I had to remove some components in order to get this thing in, but I guess that's something that can just happen when you're not a professional PC builder, because I know I'm certainly not. All right guys, finally done with my new gaming PC. Now it's time to take this thing to the test inside my gaming room and see how it performs in my favorite game, PUBG. And here we are in my gaming room. I finally connected the PC right here to all my peripherals and I'm ready to rock and roll in a game of PUBG. This is not gonna be your typical review video of hardware. I mean, there's plenty of channels out there that does that all the time and quite frankly, a lot better than I. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this PC to the test in a game of PUBG and give you my feel of how this feels in the game. Is it smooth? Does it stutter? Is the FPS drops noticeable? Or do we have any FPS drops at all? I'm going to give you the gist of it in 1440p with my standard settings. How does this thing perform? And I do expect great performance because AMD say that if you want the fastest CPU out there for gaming, you have to go AMD. All right, nice and smooth here. Okay, so that's not great. Panzerfaust, that is great. Do I just do I just run over there with the Panzerfaust? You know, I think I do. I think I do. What's up, boy? <laughs> Hello? Excuse me. You want to see my Panzerfaust? I, I think he does. Oh boy, that scared me a little bit. But that's what it looks like. Thank you for playing. And thank you for the AUG. I'll, I'll take that. As it is Sanag, we gotta... Um, we gotta be ready for an enemy to attack us at any time. So, we have to be super focused. But every time I look at my FPS, it's like, it's good. Okay, they are fighting in ruins. Oh my god, what is going on? Where'd that guy come from? Boost, and then we go for ruins. Because there is still a fight going on over there. Although the circle is coming. I hate being in a blue, but... Let's go, man. What? I hear a bicycle. That was a little bit too close. I missed some shots, but we're good. Man, I haven't got my uh, my keys probably bound here. Um, let's just uh, get a heal done. Ooh, C4. And I have a pan. Wait. <laughs> no, I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything with that. Okay. I'm not sure, man, but... Do we do we deal with these guys in the blue? I do not like being in the blue, but it seems like an easy kill I can get over here. All right, okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Wait, this is a this is a bot. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Get out of my game, Mr. Bot. Maybe we just move. No, no, we have to check it out. We have to check it out. What was that noise? We have to check it out. It's just like they do in the movies. Always check the noise. <laughs> like, why do why did it do that? Anyway. Okay, that, that, I don't know. That does sound. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's someone running here. Man, taking a car on this map is madness. There we go. That was our running man. Now we are the running man. Let's go. System performing just as I wanted to. Very nice and stable FPS. Even in a game like PUBG, recording at high details, high quality settings. Playing at pretty high quality settings as well. In 1440p resolution. I'm happy. Circle pushing me, and I don't have enough time to check all my surroundings here. Okay. Guy coming on a bike. Ah, no angle. He got lucky there. Yeah, this, this open area down here can be a bit of a problem, so let's cross over here. If I can, I want to go near the edge of the circle here. Man, that poor man was just looting. I hate dying while looting myself, but uh, that's how you go down sometimes. Um, I could get third party here. I gotta be careful. Don't wanna spend time looting that guy. Uh, bad karma in that regard. Okay, this guy just killed a bot? I think so. Okay, so he saw me. And he's going to be looking for a shot here. So I'll try to take out this guy over here instead. Guy with M249. That I do not see anywhere. Okay, so we're back to the sniper on our left. Because he will be moving this way as well. Man, he just, he just spotted me right away, this guy here. Okay, a little bit lucky, but we got him. I do not like this area. This is too open for me. Okay. Sniper in front of me. I think we're going to try to push this sniper. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to push this guy. Go, 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 go. in front of them. And he killed the guy who was fighting. So we got two left. Two enemies left. And I feel like there's a lot of screen shake with this awk. A lot of screen shake. But the last two guys could fight. I just don't have any good entrance to cover right now. Okay, okay, yo, Billy. Last guy, last guy. This is terrible. Because I made a lot of noise. No idea what the last guy is.
not having a visual right now or any knowledge is not good. Holy crap, man. Thank you for the info. I'm gonna use this. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, oh, GG. Ah, oh, GG, guys. Well, I tried. I tried. Okay, so... Didn't work. It would have been beautiful to get him with the C4. But yeah, guys, that was me trying out the new Ryzen 7 7800X3D CPU. And let's just check the performance metrics while we are here. We are running an average FPS of 265 FPS, which is very nice. That's kind of what you need when you have a 240 hertz monitor. So every single frame that my monitor can show, my system can deliver that FPS. So, and this is something I see inside the Adrenaline software that also follows the graphics card. There's a lot of stuff in here that you can do, um, including overclocking actually. Although I'm not really gonna be doing any overclocking right now because quite frankly, I don't need to. My CPU is running nice. I don't need to overclock it. It's running nice and cool, 52 degrees Celsius. Uh, also did put a quite beefy cooler in the system, but uh, that almost didn't fit, but I got it to fit. And then the graphics card, I mean, everything is fine. GPU temperature is 65. I don't know. I, I, don't, I just don't feel like I need to overclock anything, but I could in here. So what's the conclusion? Yeah, I didn't win, but the game was performing perfect. I mean, no stutter, no issues whatsoever. The FPS was good. It was always about the refresh rate of my monitor. And if you run a game like this in 1080p, like I know a lot of people do, and a lot of people also play with lower settings than me, well, you're gonna have absolutely no problems with staying competitive in this game. And PUBG is not exactly known to be a well-optimized game, so you could definitely expect to have good performance in other titles too. If you want to know more about the AMD Ryzen 7000 series, then check out the link in the description. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.